it can do some good in here. Oh man. How about that? Two bars right out of, uh, where's this thing made? Italy or something? China. Check that out. They got their logo right on that thing. There's a little notch right here, man. There's a little notch right here. Today we're washing up Seth. He's our newest guy here at Team Chemex. Oh yeah, nothing crazy. Not too do bad. I gotta take some stuff bad. out. This is what the internet calls not even dirty. Yeah, we'll get some work done in here though. Kona, hop in real quick and get some fur on this thing for us. Oh, she did get in. <laughs> she hopped right in. Thank you, girl. Get that thing. Roll around for a minute so we can get this thing furry. We have to create fake dirt on situations where things aren't dirty enough. So Kona's helping out with that. Let's see what's under the hood, man. One-handed, bro. Oh yeah, man. We got some stuff. I've never cleaned this. Not oh, you have a lot of change going on. I man. know. It's all sticky in there. Yeah, that's what we want. So this ain't just some normal Tacoma, man. This is the rough country. Oh yeah. Never cleaned those seats either. Just vacuum. Get these. Much better already, man. Oh, this is gonna be messy. Here we go. Hold your breath. Uh. Uh. Oh my God, Seth! How's there so much dirt in there? It I looked told clean. Clean those in a while. Uh. Is this like a really nice seat cover or something? Yeah. Huh. No, yeah, it's a... That's what Rough Country is. It's not the Tacoma, it's the... No, yeah. It's the seat cover. <laughs> I know nothing about vehicles, bro. <laughs> no, I just cleaned them. <laughs> Poor Jake. Let's <laughs> try to sit there quiet. It's <laughs> just like dying. <laughs> Try this thing out. What you want to do is you want to go behind all the junk and shove it out the door. Your goal is going to be to make this thing look as good as you can with this stage so that we can then get on to just removing the, the stingier grimes. So the thing is, and the problem with these is that as you clear an area, it'll blow stuff around. There's a lot of shrapnel with this kind of setup mm -hmm. versus vacuuming. But you're getting a lot of spots you can't normally get otherwise. Yeah. yeah it's a lot faster and it's a lot more fun. I love how Seth's like, my interior's not that dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna mix some heavy duty APC into this sprayer here. I like to put the water in first, man, because otherwise you get a ton of foam coming out of this thing. So we're just gonna put a little bit of the APC over that. This is the stuff right here. Here's how much. Oh, a little more. 
and that is precisely 30 to 1. Not really. <laughs> I don't know the best strength, you know? Every situation's a little different. The, the dirtier something is, the more strong you want to mix it, and the lighter the work, the more you want to stretch it. Choices, choices. Which one do we want, man? This one's nice, but for the cup holders, we'll bust out this one here. All right. The famous drill. Yeah, it's still going. This is the same brush from two years now. <laughs> I thought this would have broken by now. Get up some of the first pass here. We're gonna come back and hit this just a little bit more. Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> yeah. Definitely want that out of the way. Look at underneath it. there. I didn't even know it did that. To oh be my god. Nasty. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, man. Like factory. Well, not yet. We're still <laughs> working on that. Everybody kept telling me to buy a steamer. So I bought a McCulloch, and then I realized I made a mistake. So this is what we really bought, bro. Look at this thing. The Chief Steamer. This is a 220 volt steamer, and it runs without stopping, so you never have to slow down. The McCulloch is why they invented the phrase, uh, ran out of steam. That thing sucks. So when you first fire this thing up, it purges the water out of the line. And then it starts going, man. And what they say in the manual is to do that first purge and then you wait for this to build back up all the way to full pressure and then it's ready to rock and roll. You get a real nice dry steam out of this thing. And you can even adjust how much steam comes out or it has this other button. This is totally like remote control. If you hold down this button, it'll suck whatever is out of this soap tank and put it in with the steam too. So if you want to, you can do that. But I just use it for the steam really. And what we'll do is we'll agitate the dirty stuff with a brush and a little bit of APC and then use this in a rag to kind of rinse it. Now you could just clean with just the steamer, but I think that in conjunction with a little bit of soap and some agitation, it just speeds up the process. The steamer can be a little bit of a slow process. And I think it's for us mostly useful for like final touch up and rinsing. So I'm looking forward to using it on all kinds of situations. Oh yeah, we got all kinds of stuff to work with. Look at the stuff on this boot, man. Yeah, it's <gasps> been a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's just keep dousing this area. I haven't cleaned that quite a bit. So <laughs> probably since I got it. How long have you had it now then? Like three years. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been living up for quite some time. <laughs> Well, you work here now, so we're gonna help with that. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm power washing in here a little bit. It smells like a trampoline park in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna need to turn this thing down a little bit, I think. Seth, you see that knob? Turn it all the way closed to the right. All right, now open up just a little bit. Ah, oh, that's so much better. It's really good at getting into these like crevices and things like that and just rinsing really well. Boot looks pretty good. One place you want to avoid is like the, the gauge cluster up in the front there. You don't want to inject moisture behind the uh, the plastic or the glass on your gauge clusters. Yeah, can you imagine? That would drive me nuts. Yeah, me too. I, I, so I, I would stay away from that area. And I don't think you'd want to hit the electronics super hard or if at all. I mean, this just really pushes moisture in. So I think you'd probably avoid like the, uh, you know, the switches in general. Although it's tempting. I mean, look at it. All those edges up there, like you just want to do it. But I don't think. <laughs> There's something about the steamer once you get like going with it, it's very addictive well, and you, you just your... want to keep hitting everything because you start seeing all the, the, the improvement. 
I'm gonna try and avoid getting the steam like in the buttons, obviously. <laughs> I'm gonna owe Seth a radio. I plan uh, on getting a new one anyway, so. Sweet. Oh, right, let's so destroy let's go it. for it. <laughs> Ready? Let's clean this thing. Let's do it up. Uh, I'm excited. <laughs> See what happens. Uh, Who needs a CD player? All right, let's inject moisture into the electronics. Here we go. Oh yeah, man. better than it was. Oh, yeah. oh. Whether the radio works or not anymore, we shall see. It smells like a locker room. <laughs> like a locker room, yeah. That's a good description, man. Oh, we got some arm juice over here. Turn this thing up to 11. Look at that. I think the, another trick to it is just not to stay in one spot too long because like it can remove some of the dyes from like the vinyls. This thing hits hard, man. I'm gonna have you do this. Do you want uh, do you want leather scent or green tea scent? Green tea. Green tea? I like I like the green tea. Green, green tea, tea it is. Use that. Okay. Take one of these. 
and take this one here. Do the same process on this side, on the door jams, do it on the, you know, the panels, get the outsides here. And uh, let me show you real quick what that would look like. It's pretty, pretty much just like, do the cleaner areas first, like up in here. Yep. You know, this stuff's really nice because it froths up like crazy. So you're gonna get in here and just kind of do that right in here and all these tight spots with the brush, right? Yep. So do it like that. And then once you've gotten this, you know, this, the areas like that clean, then you come back with this and spread it around. And when we're done, we'll see what we like better, you know, the driver's side or the passenger side. It's not going to get like that sterile clean, like the steamer, but it's going to be juiced up looking and it might look better. I don't know. It's like the, the all natural guy versus the guy on steroids. This is the guy, this is Liver King's side over here and the <laughs> other side is Natty. Let's find out what works better. Try it out. Don't screw up. No, not at all. I know, I didn't know how much actually goes into this. It's ridiculous. Until Bob started and I was like, oh, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> right, now compared to the professional. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the professional. <laughs> Every video should be started with, I am not a detailer. Never copy what I do. You will regret it. <laughs> I don't know, Seth's side came out pretty good. Yeah, man. That's because he's better at detailing than I am. <laughs> How's Seth doing? Not bad. Not bad? Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Looks pretty good. I think I have enough. I don't know, Bob. I can't really get where the hinges are. Like on that right side there? Yeah. That's more of a steamer. One side smells like green tea, the other smells like a locker room. <laughs> yeah, I was actually just thinking about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is really dirty over here. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Nasty. I don't know. I would say the steamer's got more pros. He can't get into like these hinges there, like hinge areas. Yeah. My stuff just ends up looking really dry. I feel like if you were to go over that door panel with uh, some interior cleaner, yep. just to get this like shinier. Yeah, this looks very matte finish. Yeah. Like, it looks raw and kind of like Compared to his side where it's nice and shiny. How'd you make out? I'll try. Not bad. It's coming together. Oh, that looks good. Oh, you do a great job. Your doors look better than mine, in my opinion, just because like yours are juiced up and they have a nice <laughs> sheen on them. Mine look dry as a bone. <laughs> they look thirsty. You might want to hit my side with that. Okay. Now that you're. And then you, I would say Bob, come because if you look at the the like the hinges, yeah, the hinges they're still, still dirty hard. because you can't you can't get in there with a rag. Yeah, I'll hit the door jams a little bit harder and then that'll be good. That's not me, is it? No, it's not. No. It just looks dry. Yeah, right? It's like we're adding lotion. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get the uh, after picture. Look, your whole engine's smoking. Yeah, look at that. That's so much better. Who's here? Is that Curtis, the cameraman? Hey! hey. Uh, 
you already cleaned this, right, Ted? <laughs> well, doesn't say much about our soaps, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at all that junk slipping out of there. That's better now, though. Oh my goodness, man. All right, I think we're in a good spot to clean the seat. I don't think I really want to use the straight up jet for the steam on this one. It has another one that's got like three jets that spread it out a little bit so it doesn't have as much impact in one spot. So this is like a boar's hair brush attachment. That smells bad, bro. You smell that? It smells horrendous. I'm holding my breath. <laughs> Oh my goodness, bro. Look at that thing. Something it's so is much crazy. better. <laughs> well, I don't need to buy it. It looks hair. dirtier on camera, but it's like really clean. A little bit of APC and some steam. I'm loving the steamer, just not the smell. I know, yeah, I agree. I agree. The smell is pretty rough. Trampoline. Yeah, trampoline park and gym mixed together. Well, that's looking a little better. I mean, it's looking better than it was. Yeah, that is true. That's good. In our last video, like the audience was split. They were like, well, you should always leave an engine running while you clean it. But that was 50-50 with the people who said you should always disconnect the battery while you clean it. I don't think we can do both. True. There are two roads. Well, who do we want to make happy or do we just want to piss off everybody? I said we leave it connected and off. I think we should piss off everybody. Option number three, Stop soap it up and right. clean it. Yeah. People will get real mad. Yeah.
I think this is really useful to be able to just keep working, man. I really like this. <laughs> this is a big deal. I've never owned a pump sprayer before that could just continuously run. form of a tripod bomb. <laughs> it's really actually, it's already cut up. Wow. Here, let's get some of this on here. Oh, I love this thing. And then start cleaning a little bit at a time. Wow. Man. <laughs> everyone has the everyone has the uh, the uh, a line of reasoning that makes sense. Someday we will try and start one of these vehicles and it will not work. It'll be like in all engine codes. Seth's over there starting to sweat bullets. He's like, oh my god, what have we done? I think we're gonna have to power wash this off because there's too much for the steamer. We're here all day. Yeah. We can like spot treat with, with the steamer. I was, because I, I can't really help myself. That thing is a lot of fun. We'll just lightly power wash it, like low pressure from a distance. Man, Seth, you got a lot of junk in here to work with. This is nice. Let's clean the connected battery. With the Nissan logo. <laughs> With the Nissan logo. That is so foamy though, I really enjoy that. What's crazy yeah. though is it's like the best foamer in a, in a foam cannon or a foam sprayer, but yeah, in the bottle it doesn't. That's because it's perfect. Oh, it looks like we gotta foam some more, Bob. It probably, we should. Let's get the foamer in there, Seth. Hit it up. Just keep foaming it, just don't stop. Yeah, no. Get back there and see if you can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're gonna have to get that with the power washer. I think we're in a good spot here to start rinsing this thing, man. We don't want to let it sit too long before it starts drying. Goodness, man, that cleaned up so nice. It's a lot better, man. There you go. All right, man, have fun. Oh boy.
So, you ready, Seth? Let's yeah. give this thing a shot. Fire it up. Turning into detailers, that's what we're doing. Yeah, very <laughs> slow process. That's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> We still got, we still got just that little bit of stuff on some of the surfaces. So hit that up with some awesome sauce, bro. Just a little touch up. Hit up the whole hood with that. The hood needs just a little bit more than we gave it. So that's gonna be a great way to touch up the last little bit of film that was on the hood still baked in. And that's gonna serve as a, almost like a waterless wash and get like, like, like that perfect finish. You see that, Seth? Yeah. You see the difference there, man? Yeah. It's like perfect, perfect now right there. That's what you want. And sometimes when it's been a while, and it's like the first wash in a long time, this is like what you want to do. You want to get it all the way there. 
and then we can keep it fresh, touchless style from that point. When was the last time you washed it down? A couple months ago. It's been yeah. a while, yeah. I yeah, I would say if it's been a couple months, it's fair enough to use something like this to get everything nice and perfect. Just in certain areas, you know, you can spot here. You could go over the whole vehicle like this if you wanted to. And that's the difference between the Awesome Sauce and Snake Oil. Snake Oil is a foamable ceramic sealant, and so you're not getting that physical agitation to help clean up things. Uh, so this is a much nicer tool for getting things perfect. Snake Oil is a much nicer tool for coating things quickly if they're already you know, good enough for you as far as the results. Let's see how the back tailgate looks. That was pretty dirty. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I just recently complicated my installation by putting these extra three-way valves in here. So now I can switch between, when this goes to this side, I can switch between two soaps here. Or if this goes to this side like this, I can switch between two soaps here. So this time, we're using snake oil. Milwaukee blowers. They don't hit as hard as the Echo though. We need to do a video of like reviewing blowers. What's nice is they do have the lock on them. It's a good hair dryer. Yeah. Thing recuperated within wiping this thing down is nice. Right?
at that, it started. Yeah, I know, right? How about that?